Backpacking chairs are one of the most debated topics when it comes to ultralight backpacking. But let's be honest, when I say debate, backpackers do not sit around the campfire or the camp in general debating about who has the best chair, sit pad, or lack thereof. But when it comes to the YouTube comment sections, this debate lives on with a lot of passion and a lot of rigor and, well, way too serious of comments when it comes to chairs. In my experience of trying far too many seat options, I've come to what may be an obvious conclusion. I found it best to take different chair options, different sit pad options, depending on the type of trip I'm taking. That being said, let's highlight different seat options when backpacking and highlight the biggest pro and the biggest cons to each option. Kicking off these options is the most minimal option that I use, and that's simply a ground sheet from one of my Big Agnes tents. This could also be a piece of Tyvek or a piece of plastic. This is a very lightweight option. It keeps you clean from the dirt, dry from the moisture when you need to take a rest, and it serves as my actual night ground sheet under my hammock to place my pack, my shoes, and anything else on while I'm sleeping. The pros of this option are its dual purpose, it's lightweight and it's small volume for space savings while still allowing you to sit down without getting dirty or wet or even to lie down and kick back after a long day of hiking. The negatives are obvious though. Your glutes will go numb when sitting on the ground for quite a while with just a ground sheet. Also, if you wanna lean back, you're gonna need a tree or a stump or something like that to do so. The next option is the Z seat. The pros and cons are pretty much the same except it does not serve that dual purpose that the ground sheet does. And there is at least a little bit of cushion that allows for a slightly more comfortable sit. Still, if you're looking for comfort and relaxing when you're at your campsite or hanging out with other backpackers, the ground sheet and the Z seat is probably not the best option. Well, let's move off the ground and talk about a camp stool. While there's no back to this option, it does get your butt off the ground, which does feel pretty dang good after a long day of hiking. You could still use a tree for a back if you want to do something like that, but that's not always the most comfortable or available option, and certainly not the most convenient when hiking in a group. The model that I'm using now comes in at under 15 ounces, gets me 17 inches off the ground, and it packs up real nicely, not taking up too much real estate in my backpack or attached to my pack. I like this option when hiking solo or in the snow because it's pretty light and keeps me off the ground. Now taking a step back and moving back to the ground, I have two options that allow me to sit back, which feels great after a long day of hiking, or to use in my tent if it's raining or hanging around a campfire. The bleacher seat was my early attempt at packing just a little bit lighter and a little bit more minimalistically just a few years ago. However, I rarely take this option anymore because it's just a bit too bulky to pack up. So for the weight and for the space, I can get more comfort out of an actual UL chair, which we'll talk about in just a moment. Now, my most controversial option is the quick back UL chair, which I purchased from lightsmith.com a couple years ago. It's crazy expensive for what you get, but I absolutely love this little thing. I did a review of this piece of gear a little while back and still to this day, I actually get some pretty enthusiastic comments telling me that this is not a chair. Okay, you win keyboard warrior, doesn't matter. So is it a chair? I don't know, maybe, but I like it. It works really well. Now, I do often combine this with the Z seat because you obviously need some cushion if you don't want your legs and your glutes to go numb after sitting down for a little while. Combined, this option comes in at just over four ounces and still packs up really small. It's actually a great option for any style of backpacking, whether it's hammock camping, tent camping, long miles, short miles, sitting around the campfire with your friends or not. You get to sit down, you get to kick back. It's pretty relaxing, it's pretty nice, it's pretty comfortable. The final option is the basic chair. I have a one pound REI Flex Air and I've got a generic two pound chair. The two pound chair is definitely more comfortable but both are great options if you need to sit off the ground and lean back to just to help you recoup after a long day of hiking, or you just really want that relaxing seat to hang around the campfire. Outside of weight and space, the biggest issue I have with these chairs is that in Michigan, you sink it in the ground very easily. Here, you can kind of see how it already started digging into the ground, and that was after sitting in this chair for only about five minutes and making a meal. So to wrap this up, the cheapest option is a piece of plastic or a piece of Tyvek or a ground sheet that you already have, but you're certainly sacrificing comfort for weight. If you're looking for the one pound REI chair or the one pound Helinox, Helinox chair, you're gonna be looking at spending $100 easy. So you really need to weigh out. 
What kind of comfort level do I need? What kind of trip am I taking? What kind of money am I willing to spend? Am I hiking with friends or solo? Am I doing a lot of my miles or is it gonna be rainy weather? Each one of those options makes a difference on what sit option I'm gonna take on my trips. My final conclusion is this when it comes to backpacking chairs. Backpacking chairs are a lot like Speedos. It really depends on personal preference. So look at all your options, make a decision, and just roll with it. See you guys on the next video. I don't give a shit about their feelings. I'm old.